evaluate the definite integral cotangent squared of x as x goes from pi over 6 to pi over 2. Okay, so this is cotangent squared. Now let's remind ourselves what our identities are for cotangent. We have our base trig identity, right? Sine squared plus cosine squared of x equals 1. Sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. Well, we can get cotangents out of this if we divide everything through by sine, right? Because cosine over sine is uh, cotangent. So if we divide everything through by sine squared, I get 1 plus cotangent squared of x equals 1 over sine, so cosecant squared of x. So that means cotangent squared is cosecant squared minus 1. Now, so let's use that identity to rewrite our integrand and then remind you why that was or is useful in this case. So this is the integral from pi over 6 to pi over 2 of cosecant squared of x minus 1 with respect to x. Okay, well what is the antiderivative of cosecant squared? antiderivative of cosecant squared. Well, cotangent and cosecant are related a lot like um, tangent and cotangent, or excuse me, tangent and secant. The derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant squared of x. All right, so the antiderivative of cosecant squared is negative cotangent of x. And then the antiderivative of 1 is just x. So we're able to evaluate this um, antiderivative. Okay, so now I want to evaluate that endpoints. Okay, so first let's plug in pi over 2. I have negative cotangent of pi over 2 minus pi over 2. Okay, and then I'm going to subtract plugging in pi over 6. Negative cotangent pi over 6 minus pi over 6. All right, so cotangent of pi over 2. Cotangent is 1 over tangent. Tangent of pi over 2 is undefined, so this means cotangent of pi over 2 is 0. So I get 0 minus pi over 2, okay? Minus, now what's cotangent of pi over 6? Well, what's, what is tangent of pi over 6? Tangent of pi over 6 is sine of pi over 6 over cosine of pi over 6. So that's 1 half all over square root of 3 over 2. So that's 1 over root 3, which means that cotangent is reciprocal of that. So that's negative root 3, right? Negative cotangent. And then minus pi over 6. Okay, so if we distribute these negative signs, I have square root of 3 my, uh, plus pi over 6 minus pi over 2. So pi over 2 is 3 pi over 6. So this is square root of 3 plus pi over 6 minus 3 pi over 6. So that's square root of 3 minus 2 pi over 6, which is just pi over 3. So square root of 3 minus pi over 3 is the answer to our, is the evaluation of this definite interval.